What's up gamers? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to utilize the best stub in XP method in the game. If you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, roll to 15k. Let's get into today's breakdown. If you're looking for a super, super fun and easy way to earn extra money, follow me on Underdog Fantasy and use code Fat Dollars for a deposit bonus up to a hundred bucks. All you got to do is come in here, make one dollar bets, two dollar bets, three dollar bets. It don't matter. Choose your players. Come over to the right, put the amount in. One dollar bet, you have a chance to win three dollars back. I will be giving you guys free picks. Follow me on my Twitter and I will give you a Discord link and let's have some fun. All right, so this is my all diamond team. And you can see in the middle, I have myself, my created pitcher. Using the created pitcher method that I showed you in yesterday's video is going to help you be able to get all these free 90 overall diamonds in MLB The Show 22. You're also going to be able to get a lot of stubs and then it's going to help you in the future. Okay, so we're going to go step by step how to build the best no money spent team in MLB The Show 22 using these XP methods. Starting off with the ball player. So if I leave Diamond Dynasty, I'm gonna go to Road to the Show. I showed you exactly how to set this up yesterday. If you are having any problems, make sure that you are always activating your ball player. So when you come down here to My Player, you're gonna click and you're gonna to go to My Ball Player, okay? Right here is your loadout. When you click into the loadout, this has everything that you need. This is your full setup right here with your perks and everything. Okay, so if you click in this top one, you have the big train, the kitchen sink. Once you get up the diamond, you have all your gold, silver, and bronze tiers. Every time that you leave Road to the Show, you want to come right here and you want to make sure that you activate your player every single time. So if you look at my stats, at my stats down here at the bottom, you can see my guy is 99, 90, 85, 92, and 67 with the boost from the diamond perks. So we at 97, over 100, over 100, over 100, over 100, and all of the important stats for a pitcher, okay? Now, if you want to go later on and make a better to have in the lineup, that's okay for you to do also, but the pitcher is super important because number one is going to help you with mini seasons. That's going to be another way to get free players, another way to get XP, packs, and stubs. Number two is going to help you with conquest, okay? Instead of being a hitter, not everybody's good at hitting the ball, but everybody's good at pushing one button and pitching the ball. And when you have a created player like this with 99 to 101 speed, fastballs, cutters, sliders is going to be so much easier and efficient for you to complete all the missions in the game. So we're going to leave out a road to the show. The next thing I want to do is go back into Diamond Dynasty. Make sure that you have your guy in the lineup. So if you push right trigger or R2, this is your starting pitchers. Okay, so you want to make sure to put him in once you click on them, you push X or square. Once you come down here to series, it says ball player. You just want to toggle that. And when you back out, it will be your player. Okay, so that's how you make sure he's in the lineup. So always check and make sure that your 65 overall player is in the lineup. Okay, so he's in the squad right now. Once you go to manage squad, you will be able to see if he's in the lineup. Now his stats on this screen would not be his real stats. You have to go play versus computer or conquest or any other game before you can see his stats. So number two, conquest. If you go to conquest, you have the nation of baseball conquest. That's gonna give you a free 88 overall, a 85 overall, a 86 overall, and about 30 packs and prospect packs. You can save them, you can sell them, it's all up to you. 
you having the created picture is gonna make this mission so much faster. Now, I had started all the missions before I started my ball player, but once I got my ball player up to the gold tier, that's about two hours and 45 minutes. Once I got him up to the gold tier, the conquest went super fast. I got it done in about six and a half hours. Then you also have this newer conquest right here, and this is gonna get you two prospect packs, some stubs, and more. You're also gonna be getting hidden packs. I think you got like eight or nine hidden packs in it. And if you look at this, I'm about four games away from completing this. And once you complete this conquest map, you're gonna be getting another 30,000 XP. So I have four three inning games to play with my created pitcher. Now I'm gonna go in with this team and I'm gonna show you what the benefits of having that created pitcher is. So I'm gonna go down here to my pitcher and then I'm just gonna start the game up, okay? So I'm gonna fast forward to the pitching part and you're gonna be able to use your pitcher for at least two innings. Even if the stamina is down, even if your guy's getting tired, you can spam, spam fastballs. So my guy is up the pitch. I gave you the full breakdown on how to make this guy. So 98 miles per hour right there. You can come with just pushing one one button on classic you could do fastball you could do cutter you could do slider you could do sinker and this is just gonna make the process way way faster they might foul the ball off every once in a while but if you just spam the button you don't have to direct it every fastball is gonna end up in a different spot right there is an easy strikeout okay so when you play in many seasons when you play in conquest his stamina is gonna go down way faster but it's okay if your guy get tired it's just a super super fast way for you to win these games. Now, another way for you to be able to get XP is to make sure that you do some of these missions. Now, they did just put three new moments out. So that's another 3,000 XP. Then they have the feature programs. If you wanna do this, this is 15,000 XP in this. A lot of y'all might have got this done. I didn't do it, but that is 15,000 XP. You got the flashbacks. If you want to put people in your lineup, the Breakout Lamb, the Smoltz, the Mancini, the Damon, all these cards, if you want to play with them while you are doing mini seasons, play with these players while you are doing conquests, this all adds up. You can also just play a CPU for nine innings in parallel cards and complete this XP reward at the same time now another good thing is here's 15,000 for the showdown here's 30,000 for the faces of the franchise okay so if i was to do the 15 15 and 30 that would put me way up here close to the 400,000 mark now all 300,000 of this come from my road to the show picture in the one conquest map that i got and then i'm about 95 percent done with the second conquest map and that put me over 300,000 no xp cap is with the pitcher ball player glitch okay there's no xp cap if you have seven straight hours you can go all the way up to 400 500,000 xp if you just play the regular game and you use the gameplay xp you will get stopped at about 80 to 90,000 XP. Then you're going to have to wait seven to eight hours to complete it. So for the face of franchise, all that's important to me is up to this last diamond. So 405,000. I'm 100,000 away from that with the ball player method. I probably in the next 40 to 45 minutes can completely finish my diamond tier of my pitcher. And then I will have all them perks, all the equipment that I can sell for another 40 to 60 thousand stubs. Stubs are super important. Don't be like me. I've been late at night opening the 75,000 stub bundles and not getting anything. So I should have about 175,000 stubs. Instead, I have about 40,000 stubs. So be smart with your stubs. It's still another six to seven days before stubs are super important. And I'm gonna be giving you good stub flipping methods coming up in the next week okay so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel drop a thumbs up on the video this is exactly what i've been doing to build the best no money spent team in mlb the show 22.